UFC coming up this Saturday night from Madison Square Garden. And, Bri, I'm going to be honest with you, bud. I'm pretty excited for this one. It is a stacked card for Bellator, a number of title fights, bad blood throughout the card. How do you think the Saturday night fairing of Bellator stacks up with what we've seen this year from the UFC? You know, pretty darn close, right? And there's a lot to like on this card. There's a lot for everybody. And we know Bellator has made a lot of money on regular TV in recent years with these carnival fights, these circus fights, these old guy fights. Well, they've mixed that with some really good fights, including young up-and-coming fighters and some UFC vets who have come over closer to their prime than in the past. And I think what you have now with the backdrop of Madison Square Garden and MMA just getting legalized in the state of New York last year, you got a pretty comparable card. This will be a $50 pay-per-view, just short of the price you'll typically pay for the UFC. And for Bellator, a big move. Just the second pay-per-view in company history. This is a loaded one. This will test the market, see if they've got something here for the future. Which fight excites you the most? You know, I think the best fight on the roster is actually a fight that won't be on the pay-per-view card. It'll be in the Spike TV main event. It's a rematch. Ryan Bader against Bellator light heavyweight champion Phil Davis. And, you know, you know these two names from the UFC. They just fought in January 2015 under the UFC banner. Ryan Bader took home a split decision. Two wrestlers, well, that fight was on the feet. A lot of punching. It was a rematch of their college wrestling days. It's a rivalry that goes way back. And I think Phil Davis has really shown his improvement since coming to Bellator. Four fights under his belt. This will be very interesting against a guy who had his number in the past in Ryan Bader. So, Bri, I know you're excited for that Bader-Davis fight, but how about the actual main event? It's a fight featuring two names that fighting fans definitely familiar with, Chael Sonnen and Vanderlei Silva. You know, it's going to be interesting to see what we get. We know it's bad blood, and that gets you excited. These two had a brawl in Brazil back in the UFC, the ultimate fighter reality show days, but never met in the cage. Are they weathered? Are they past their time? Probably. But, I, you know, you may see these two brawl at the way, and you may see them brawl at the hotel before they get to the cage. It feels that real. You just hope two guys pushing 40 that in the cage they can deliver because Chael Sonnen's Bellator debut, of course, with much fanfare against Tito Ortiz was an absolute disaster. These guys can talk. Can they still fight, though, Nick? That's a lot of what you're getting into when you watch Bellator. It's going to be hashtag old guy fight. It's going to be a circus atmosphere, but that's why you watch in the end. For more combat sports performance enhancing audio like you just heard, here's what you're going to do. You're going to download and subscribe to the In This Corner podcast featuring the great Brian Campbell.